Hello all, welcome to Tech Tips. So in this video, we are going to see what are instance group in a Google Cloud and what are the different type of instance group and why we need instance group and what are the features of instance group that we'll see in this video. So let me go to a next slide and just take an example. You have created one web application and you deployed it on your web server. And now the user started using your application. So as of now, this is very small application. You don't know your application will work or not if multiple user base will use it or not so you created just a very simple application now users liked your application and users started using your application so there is a huge number of users now using your application and your small application is not able to handle such a load now to adjust this load or to accommodate this load you need a additional compute power along with your single instance so what we can do you can create identical or similar kind of instance which run for a same application so earlier your application were running on one compute server now your application is running on three compute server and user will start using your application without any issue but now you might have question okay but currently in this uh, slide you can see the users are sending traffic to the first server or they are sending traffic to the ip address but we have solution for that also on top of this instance group or a group of instance we can use a load balancer so user will hit a load balancer and this load balancer will distribute the traffic and will get served without any kind of a latency so that is the basic requirement and basic idea of the instance group so we'll see what are the different type of instance group so in gcp we have two instance group one is managed instance group and another is unmanaged instance group so just have some patience if we are going through theory because it might not be a clearer it first glance so we'll try to implement that in our google cloud console and we'll see if it clear or all doubt okay so managed instance group let you operate apps on identical vms managed instance group offer auto scaling auto healing or rolling update support multiple zone support and good fit for deploying highly available and scalable workload so as i already told about a highly available so when you need a multiple server for your same application just to make it highly available then we can use a managed instance group so one major difference you see here whenever you are creating managed instance group you need a instance template so all your instance created in managed instance group will have identical configuration so without instance template you cannot create a managed instance group but unmanaged instance group it is a group of heterogeneous instance so your instance can be a different so that is the major difference of managed instance group managed instance group is a group of identical vm where unmanaged instance group is a group of heterogeneous instance okay so these are the features are not supported by unmanaged instance group which are available in managed instance group so that was a basic theoretical definitions of managed instance group and unmanaged instance group i'll go to cloud console and just show you how we can create managed instance group and unmanaged instance group so let me go to the cloud console now okay in my cloud console i'll go to compute section as we will see compute or instance group in compute section and here if i scroll down you could see the instance group option here now i want to create a instance group i'll simply click on create instance group here you can see managed instance group and here unmanaged instance group in manage there are two options stateless and stateful for stateful application you can go for stateful for stateless application you will go with stateless so i'll just use the default one that is stateless and here you could see the options while creating the instance group it is asking me for an instance template without instance template i cannot create it so we'll just create a group one instance template in last video we already created one instance template so i'll use that linux template single zone so here we can create a single zone or a multiple zone so if i put a single zone then it will create instance in a single zone if i put a multiple zone here it will create in three different zones okay so i am keeping a single zone so what it will do it will create minimum one instance so i can keep here minimum two and maximum four so how it will work so whenever 
the traffic will increase or load on your instance increase so initially when we create it will be two but suppose there is a high load on your system and your CPU utilization goes beyond some percentage suppose 80 percent or 90 percent so here we can give the auto scaling matrix so suppose it is going beyond 60 percent one more node will be added into your instance group so it will be three instance nodes serving all the traffic now again there will be huge load on the three instances and your CPU utilization again go beyond 60 percent then it will add one more node so it will keep scaling until there is a maximum number of instances set here so whenever there is a high traffic it will just scale up and it will scale down as well so that is the special feature of a instance group or managed instance group i would say so you can scale your instance so here i am keeping is two and maximum instance i am keeping as a four and now i'll just try to create it without adding more features and we'll show you how it will create so i didn't create any health check so if health check is showing yellow don't worry because we need to create health check so i didn't create any health check for that and this is the way we can create a managed instance group now i will again by the time this is getting created what i will do i will go to create instance group and now i will try to create unmanaged instance group now see the difference here it is not asking me to choose an instance template rather it will ask me to choose a vm so the vms which i already created i can just choose that vm as a part of my unmanaged instance group so now i'll just choose the vm which i already created and i'll just add it as a part of unmanaged instance group so in unmanaged instance group you can ca add existing vms but in a managed instance group you need an instance template now here you could see the first is managed instance group which is using the instance template and the instances are two so let me open this okay the minimum instances are two here and let me try to delete one instance from the instance group so i'll just delete one instance so just remember this naming convention at the end it is having k1pc or any random string so what i will do i will just delete this instance manually just to see what will happen so now out of two i deleted one which is ending with k1pc so now my instance group should have only one instance okay so i'll just keep refreshing and we'll see the behavior okay now you could see it started creating one more instance because we have mentioned minimum number of instance should be two so if any instance is crashing it will automatically create a new instance and that is the feature of auto scaling so it will keep scaling or auto healing you can say this is about auto healing because suppose one instance is crashed it will automatically create another instance if i delete one more again it will create one more instance so it will always try to maintain a minimum number of instance now you could see it created a new instance and it's added as a part of instance group so my instance group will always available to serve the traffic from the user now just take an example i am building my uh, web application on top of the instance group and if the, any of the instance will crash so another instance will get created so no impact on the users but instead of instance group i am hosting it on a particular single linux instance and linux instance crash what will happen my application will go down so to maintain high availability we can use the instance group now you can see this auto healing feature is available in instance group managed instance group let me check how it will work in unmanaged instance group now if i try to delete the instance so here this is instance group member so if i delete instance what will happen I'll just type delete so you can see this is removing it from the instance group but it will be available in here test vm will be available it is just removing from the instance group instance is being stopped you can see 
but it just removed from the so it depend upon the type of instance group you are creating so let me go to instance group again and we'll see instance group 2 okay so it removed from here from the group and it deleted from the instance as well but it is not creating any new one okay so it means this auto healing feature is not available for unmanaged instance group so as auto healing feature is available for your managed instance group you cannot delete vms directly from managed instance group you have to delete the instance group let me try deleting the instance group first so i'll try to delete and then it will delete both of your instances so this is empty now there are no instance attached to your instance group so i'll delete this one also so now there are few features of a managed instance group like a rolling update so we'll see that in our next video so we'll see you in next video and thank you for watching this video